Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Down here. Today we're taking a look at a K-Bar knife. This is the uh, a short model K-Bar Tanto. Um, and it is a uh, uh, survival combat knife uh, in, that, in that genre. Uh, it is modeled after the original uh, K-Bar USMC knife, although it is, like I say, it is the shorter version with a Tanto point on it. Uh, this knife is made in Olean, New York, so we've got American made there. It ships, there's the knife in a sleeve, paper sleeve, and it does come with a sheath. You can get this knife with a leather sheath or with a um, FRN sheath like we have here. Uh, it also comes with a K-Bar booklet. which shows their different their different knives and, and so forth and then a little bit of uh, information about how to use the sheath. Okay, uh, taking a look at the sheath, um, it's actually, it's bagged, so I'm, I'm not going to open it up, uh, but what it is, is, let's see if I get as good a shot for you as I can, it is uh, an FRN sheet. Uh, it does, as you can see, it does have these these tie downs here, different you know for for webbing or or you know different kinds of gear uh, that you might be lashing it to or, or putting it on. Uh, it does have a. It, it is uh, like I say, it's that that Kydex or FRN. Uh, you can see here there is a uh, a water drainage cut out there. Uh, it does have a loop that, that goes around the knife, around the knife handle, and then there is a snap that comes this way as well, and there's a snap there. So um, I'm not going to unbag that, but that is a very, very solid, very nice sheath. It's a friction lock sheath, and that's what this little, that's what this little piece is talking about. Uh, knife is locked in place when fully inserted into the sheath. To remove, grasp the handle of the knife and use your thumb to press against the sheath. You know, pulling with your hand and pushing with your thumb. That so you don't get that uh, kind of effect like that. You know, it just it just kind of you can just kind of ease it out with your thumb. That's the way to do one of these friction sheaths. Um, the knife itself. Ta-da! There you go. That's a nice looking knife. That is a Tanto point. Very nice. Technical specs on this are five and a quarter inch blade. That's made of 1095 steel. The 1095 is a very tough uh, and, and excellent choice of steel for a survival or, or combat knife uh, although it can rust or corrode if you if you don't keep after it to aid in that the knife has been powder coated with the it's got the black blade there so so that's going to keep it from from rusting or corroding the only thing uh, that would be exposed to the air is the actual the actual edge uh, as well as the serrations the steel there that's exposed at the edge uh, so you might want to use something like Sentry Tough Glide. Uh, you know, a, a dry film lube will will keep that from uh, rusting. That'll keep it nice. Uh, five and a quarter inch blade, uh, 1095 steel with a Rockwell hardness of 56 to 58. The overall length of the knife is nine and three eighths inches. The handle is uh, is craton. It's made of craton, which is a you know, it's got kind of a, a rubbery, grippy kind of feel. Take a get a good look at that. You can see that's uh, you know, it's got a very slight texturing on it. Uh, it does have, of course, those those circular uh, cutouts, those the 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 siping, I guess you would call it, around there. Uh, that'll allow water to run off and and uh, you know allow you. To, uh, Prevent, prevent it from getting between your hand and the handle. 
uh, you know, it gives it somewhere to go. Fluid runoff, as well as grip. The Tanto Point, of course, is, is uh, superior on piercing, and it's a very strong tip. It's a nice, nice thick steel. See there? And then it narrows. There's a swedge that comes in at about, oh, I suppose it starts almost at the midpoint. And that com comes down to there. There's your, there's your point. It's got the cross guard there to keep your hands safe. It's full tang construction and you can see, you can see that the tang there emerging from the, at the uh, pommel. The pommel there is really more just for, for keeping the knife in your hand. Some people look at that and think, um, you know, think, oh, well, I can, you know, I can use it as a hammer. Uh, I don't think it's really designed for that. It's, uh, I mean, not that you couldn't do that, but, uh, you know, you could do some light hammering with it, but it's, you know, it, it, I don't think that's its main function. It's, it's, more, it's more or less there to, to keep the hand, uh, keep it in the hand. It is, uh, you know, it is a original K-bar. That's how you know it's, it's, it's the real deal. It says USA on it. Uh, it's got, it is a serrated blade, this particular model. That's got four large and six small. And that's a good, a good ripping pattern. You can see how that comes along there. And, and there's your tanto point. It's uh, this is again. This is the small version that you know, and uh, you can see that that's that my hand really fully fully encloses that handle. Uh, I'm not not saying there isn't enough there, uh, but there, it's just enough. Um, you know, this is a good knife for when uh, when weight is a concern. Uh, maybe when maybe when concealability, uh, you know, is a concern. Um, uh, you know, or maybe maybe with a someone with a smaller hand. Uh, you know, or you know, you just you just don't want that much knife on you. Uh, this is a good choice for that. It's it's it's. I think it's probably a little more maneuverable, a little more easily usable than the larger version. Uh, you know, but the larger version is you know will is. But you know, then again, I mean, you're not going to be underpowered. I, I would not say. That if you were to take this, you know, camping or hiking, that that you know you would be underpowered as opposed to if you had brought the larger model. I mean, this this knife will do anything you need it to do. This is, I mean, <laughs> there's plenty of knife there, and that tanto point is gonna, you know, work like double duty. That it's a good sharp knife, good strong and sharp knife. The blade is hollow ground. And uh, the weight is 5.9 ounces. I don't know if I said that or not. But this, the weight without the sheath, with knife alone, is 5.9 ounces. There you are. And that does come with... Uh, with uh, a very nice friction lock uh, FRN sheath that'll keep that for you. All right. Well, thanks a lot. I'll see you again.